Hello, hello, everybody. I know it's late. <laughs> I'm Steve. Welcome to another Mac 84 live stream. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Let me know if you, you hear me okay, you see me okay. Hopefully my internet doesn't crap out. That's going to change on September 1st when I get a new internet service provider because this one I'm done with. But uh, audio and video sound good. Hello, Bruce. Oh, my goodness. We got, we got like 10 people here already. What's going on here? Hello, guys. All right, we got uh, Bruce here. We got Jay. We got Nolan. We got uh, Automatic Citist. I can't read. Uh, Distro Hopper. Um, Malto. We got Christian. We got uh, Alex. I think that's it. So, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. So, um, I haven't done one of these in a few days. And uh, hello, Nick. Um, but, I see my desk is a mess. Uh, but, what I have been doing is I have been in contact with a bunch of folks who uh, were interested in me helping them out, either uh, me fixing their machines or whatever. So uh, a while ago, I uh, posted on one of the, the Facebook groups I'm in, it was either low end Mac or vintage Macintosh enthusiasts, and I was looking for something um, that's not really common, but you know, it's 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 not like it's rare or anything. Well, who knows? Anyway, um, I put a post out and said, hey, does anybody have this thing? And we'll, we'll talk about those things in a little bit, probably another stream. And uh, someone contacted me and said, oh, I have one of those. And I said, well, what do you want for it? And we started talking. And they said, oh, well, you know, you do recapping, right? I said, yeah. And they said, well, I need my SE30 recapped. And so we were, we were chatting and uh, turns out his SE30 was just fine. He fixed something in it, and then it worked fine. And so I said, well, I'd still like this item from you, but you have anything else you want to recap? You know, get recapped? Um, and so he says, well, yeah, I have a few things. So uh, this guy, Jordan, is sending me, ha has sent me a few items, uh, and as payment, I got the item I wanted, uh, and I got a computer that is broken, but maybe I could fix it. And if you could read the title of this video, you could understand it's a Macintosh SE30. Now, this isn't the first SE30 I looked at. The first SE30 that I had under the microscope uh, was Kate's from the Macintosh Librarian. And in fact, I just shipped hers back uh, today. So uh, that's all nice and recapped and it wasn't too, too bad. There was some minor trace repair and some of the caps looked really nasty under the microscope, but booted right up, cleaned up pretty well. So we have another SE30. However, this uh, had some repairs attempted, I believe, and uh, some of the pads are just missing. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Now, I don't have an SE30 at all. So the reason I was able to test Kate's SE30 uh, was using the SE case that I have. However, uh, an SE30 board would work most likely um, in any SE. So what I was excited about is my friend Jordan sent me over a big box. And this big box was this <laughs> this big bubble wrapped, very very well packed little gift. And this is a Macintosh SE30. So I haven't un unwrapped this yet, obviously. Um, so we're gonna see how well it, it survived the shipping process, and uh, see if we could thaw it out of this carbonite and see how it, how it looks. Um, I believe only the logic board is the problem here, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the trick with most of these so let's put it on the desk here if I have some room and uh, see what it looks like let me see which side is up here oh. the big old boy uh, let's see let me get one of my blades here Because uh, this stuff is packed very well, which is good. You don't want to, especially if you're going to send the whole computer, you want to send it carefully. All right, well, that's the wrong way to undo it. Uh, let's try over here. <laughs> no worries, Christian. Uh, that goes for anybody else. I know it's late different time zones and all, but, um, I mean, it's late in my time zone, but if you, uh, don't catch the rest of this, you can always catch it on the replay. 
I promise not to post any spoilers on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. At least for a little bit. It's gonna take us 30 minutes just to unwrap this. Power supply is leaking caps. Um, I have heard of that. I have a laser rider. It might be the same one. I, I, I have two laser riders. One's a very old one, and it's not a networkable one. So it might be the personal one, actually. Uh, I don't know if that one turns on. I can't remember. It's been too long. I put, I opened it up on a live stream once, or played around with it on a live stream. But <laughs> All right, Jay. I'll try and go a little bit faster. I mean, it's packed extremely well, so kudos, Jordan. You know how to pack things well. Or whoever, whoever you told to pack it, pack it well. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. Okay. Layer by layer. It's like unrolling a... Uh, something. <laughs> a scroll, I don't know. Like Christmas. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I'm gonna have enough bubble wrap for a while now. That's good. There's all the machines I work on and, and uh, things I get shipped around. been an ASMR video about bubble wrap. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh boy. Well, that sounds like you're on a roll, Nick. Ouch. Look at that. After all of that, we have a nice foamy outside. And now I have bubble wrap all around my legs here. <laughs> I feel like a mummy that just like got up. Yeah, I mean, I picked up a lot of things from thrift stores with dead bugs in them. Not exactly the best thing, but... Alright, almost done wrapping all this up. Because if I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it. And then I'm going to trip over it and fall flat on my face on the cement ground. And it'll be off camera. Nobody will get to enjoy it. So I hope this crinkling doesn't bother anybody. any of this has popped so that's good Yeah, if, if you get to choose, I would either get a Macintosh SE or a Classic 2. Obviously, an SE30 or a Color Classic is great, but um, the, the original Classic is, is a bit underwhelming. Especially, you know, from a collector's perspective, you're trying to maybe run some games on it and stuff. The Classic 2 is a step up, but... Well, the programmer and interrupt switches are for programming and interrupting programs and debugging systems. Um, if you look in one of the very old manuals, like for the Macintosh SE or for the Macintosh Plus, etc., 
Uh, it'll tell you what those switches do, and, and they, they are really designed for exactly what it sounds like. For when you are programming a Mac and something freezes, you could debug it. You could probably enter, um, what is it, that Mac, Mac bugs or, or whatever, debugger, or whatever that is. Um, that's really what it's for. Um, and, you know, the reset switch, well, the, um, what, you know, one of the switches will restart the machine if it's frozen up, so... I mean, that's the other use for it. Mac bug. Max bug. That's, yeah. I mean, this is just, it's after midnight here, so anything I say, take with a hefty grain of salt, because I'm lucky I haven't sliced open my own finger here. Uh, this looks to be in pretty good condition so far. No, nothing bad. Hey, Crazy Tech Reviews. Oh, hey, Matt. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, this looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's take a closer look here. So, let me just make this window a bit bigger so I could see what I'm sharing. Ah! My internet being silly again? Hopefully not. Nope. All right. Hopefully we're good. All right. So, I don't see any cracks. I don't see any... There's some scuffs on the case, but that, that's existing. You know, there's a big sticker here that used to be there. Um, the case is actually in pretty good shape for something that's this old. I mean... I've, I've never seen an SE30 in person before. I mean, yeah, it's the same thing, but... you. There are little cosmetic differences. So, like on the SE, this cutout is also for the floppy drive, and they did they put a special piece of plastic here with the LED hole for the hard drive. This one, they only sold with the hard drive and a floppy drive. So, if OS nine is freezing, try eight point six. Uh, we have the back here. No, I never had an SE thirty. This is my first SE thirty. I've only repaired a board of an SC30 before, but I've never owned an SC30 computer before. Um, so we have the, the slot taken out. There is a hard drive in here and a floppy drive as well. Now I'm going to turn it on briefly because this is mine to keep. My uh, goal is to try and fix it for myself. Screen has a little bit of burn in out the top. Not too bad. And so let's see what this thing does when we try and turn it on. Probably nothing. The fan spins and the screen comes on. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're not going to leave that on for long. This poor little guy. We got a cursor. And a lot of distortion there. Not wiggling, but like signal distortion from the logic board. All right, so very interesting. Now, of course, the CRT now has electricity through it. This is great. Hopefully, this is fixable, Bruce. Hopefully. Uh, so we're going to be very careful in taking this apart. Uh, are there screws in there? No. Well, no, maybe they are. I can't see. So, we're going to take the screws out. I'm going to be very careful in accessing the logic board. So I don't want to fry myself. And J, here's a serial number for you. F10481CTK02. So there you go. Oh, nice. Put an SSD in your iMac G4. Not bad. That is exactly it, Jay. You're welcome. Yeah, that screw may be gone. I, I gotta use my flashlight on my phone because it, it's, it's very hard to see. Yep. No screws in there. That's okay. 
Makes it easier, hopefully. How do we find so many vintage Macs? Well, I started collecting them well over 15, 20 years ago. So, I had probably over 50 to 100 Macs in my collection back then. Nobody wanted them. They were dirt cheap. I got an 848V Quadra machine for five bucks. I mean, it just tells you how undesirable these things were. Uh, this is, as I said in the beginning of the stream, this is part of a trade. I'm going to help fix up uh, some of the machines and logic boards and stuff the guy sent me. And uh, in uh, exchange, this is part of my payment. A broken computer I can hopefully fix up. And there we go. It smells a little toasty in there. I don't know if that's smoke or what, but... <laughs> Alright, so we have that metal piece there. And a screw missing, it's okay. And let's not spam the chat, please, or otherwise the moderators get upset. And you go bye-bye. All right, so let's turn this on its face. I'm gonna towel here. Okay. There we go. Logic board looks pretty decent, pretty clean. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is carefully remove the brain cord or the main cord here uh, that connects the uh, the analog board that's that's the word analog board uh, to the rest of the computer now what I want to do is there's one screw holding in this metal thing I just want to just just want to remove that make it a little bit easier for me to maneuver myself around in here <laughs> I don't know, Jay and Bruce will play good cop, bad cop. Take my watch off. I have enough scratches on that thing. Floppy cable comes out. No scuzzy cable, but I have one. A 20 meg hard drive is what was in here. What is in here. That That's going to make it a little bit difficult to reach this. There we go. That came out pretty easily. Alright. And, yeah, it's getting stuck there. Let me get the speaker cable out. Got the ROM sim getting caught. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go up this way. I was supposed to just let it come out like this. Again, oopsie doodle. Right? I should just be able to, yeah. Well, either way. <laughs> Has some memory on it. Oh, it's, it's that speaker cable is just getting caught on everything. Yeah, I, I can swing it out here. I'm just trying to... There we go. All right. All right, so here we go. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy, oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ew. Yeah, we this this needs some love. Well, there's a lot of lot of oof. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move this machine to the side. We're gonna look under the microscope because my goodness, this machine is in need of some repair. Yes, yeah, so someone else has been in here. Someone's been in here and uh, had a go at it. 
If it was an easy fix, it wouldn't have come to me. Oh, I got some dead bugs that fell out. That's cool. Always a nice surprise. <laughs> it did turn on without capacitors. It did. Well, it had two of the uh, axial ones, but that's, that is interesting. We got a cursor without capacitors. We probably would have got a, a Happy Mac, too. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, you didn't have to think about it because it actually happened. But Well, we shall see. I, uh, I initially don't have a good feeling about this, and I, I don't think we're going to be able to fix it in one go, but I'm going to take a look at it at least. Okay, so let's make sure I have my uh, camera set up here. Just give me a moment here. Uh, okay, we got that. Where's the microscope? That's oh, a microphone. And we want this one. Well, it could just be in this machine how it was designed that it, you know, that, uh, I, I, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, boy. All right. Let's set this up here. All right. And then I'm just setting that up so you can see me as we're messing about with this. Oopsie. Oopsie. We don't need that there. And we don't need that there. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to switch over to the microscope here. Now, I've been messing around with the zooming and stuff, so this is probably not going to be the uh, most precise thing. Because I've, I've been moving things around on my desk. Oh boy. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, so. Oh, this is little. This is little Mackie guy. Whoops, where is he? There he is. It's from the Macintosh Librarians videos. So. Very nice of her to send. Uh, a little 3D printed little guy along. Uh, I uh, just sent back her SE30, which is now in fully working condition. Very cute. I think uh, she's going to make a few to share. All right, so. Keep my glasses on for this. Now, hopefully, let's, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. So, uh, I'm going to take the ROMSIM out which the plastic is already cracked on just a little bit. Yep, and it's actually it's it's still partially attached, so I, I might be able to glue that. But here's the ROM sim. I am putting a label on this cuz I will put it aside and I'm going to be like, "Oh, it's just memory for a Quadra." All right. Put some tape on there. And then right on the tape, SE30 ROM we go now I know what it is uh, yeah I think she's planning to do something like that anyway all right let's let's you guys want the gruesome bits that's what you that's what you're here for you savage people <laughs> all right so uh, again what I see uh, is a little more of a of a uh, wider view than what you see so I'm gonna try and Make sure you're seeing the same area as I am. So let's look at capacitor 12 here in the corner. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, that is, um... That is problematic. Oh my goodness. This is exactly why you don't twist off caps. I, I can't even see. 
but this is oh, hold on a second first let me uh, I can't even oh that's dried up flux that doesn't help Ugh. yeah let's get some alcohol in there what, what little alcohol I have left See what's under it. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's there's some flux in every ever there's still some metal there how about that all right so ugh. look at look at look at this look at look at this Ew. That's some proper proper scunge there. Maybe if I'm using the term correctly, Bruce will correct me. He's he's the the master of all this. Yeah, that's why when people say, "Oh, you know, I'll just put it in the dishwasher, be fine." Yeah, that's not gonna it's not gonna help the situation fully. Yeah, I think that's that's the leg of the capacitor that's still there. Scunge is the wet one. Yes, this is this is definitely has a moistness to it. Oh. <laughs> and punch is gaseous. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a, a little chart that I keep on my desk, Bruce, so so I, I dare not forget again. Alright, so that that one's bad. I, I think that's salvageable. So let's let's go to capacitor C1. We're not done with that one yet, of course, but let's let's just take a tour. A tour around the board. Let's look at capacitor C1. You sunk my battleship. You sunk my capacitor. Where's C1? Ew, whatever that is. Ew. Um <laughs> and grunge's music. Well, thank you, Jay. Oh, you there's more of the more of the same it looks like <laughs> what happened to you poor board <laughs> it won't need a capacitor it's self-aware <laughs> it knows how much pain it's in already so for those of you who who saw me using my microscope uh last time uh, this is actually a new microscope head so I made the expensive mistake of ordering the wrong microscope that does not let me use this camera at the same time I view with both eyes and that's important because uh, you need to be able to see what you're doing and when you see it in stereo it helps a lot and I, I realize I'm, I'm slightly off focus here let me try and, and just fix this here one moment please I want you guys to be a little sharper then I can adjust my eyepieces here That's a little better. There we go. Okay. So, I mean, it, yeah, it does. It does still look like there's a pad there. So that's good. Now, 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 you guys see it sharper than I do. Hold on.
All right, good. All right, so yeah, that one looks like crap, but ooh, I see, I see some nastiness over here. Ooh, God, wait till you see this. Ooh, this, this might be problematic. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that, Jay. Look at all. Look at look. This this has moss growing on it. <laughs> it's like its own community. There's an ecosystem on there. My God. This is pretty wretched, guys. This board is not happy. I'm surprised we got any life out of it. I mean. Ooh, I gotta wipe. I gotta wipe this off. This, this. Uh, this blade has some crud on it. All right. Life uh, finds a way. Yeah, this this is gonna be definitely uh, uh, an, <laughs> a few hours in the ultrasonic cleaner. Oh boy, this is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Now, yeah, let me uh, let me actually, because I was playing around with the camera before. I think I have this slightly different level than you guys are. Uh, so sorry, one moment, please. There we are. Yeah, that is disgusting. Ugh. Looks like, is that pad still there? Uh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like that pad's still there. I mean, it is coated with, looks like it, it's in a beach. It went, it got sand and, ugh. Ugh. So what is leaking is the electrolytic juices that are in the capacitors to make them work. So after 20 to 30 years, you know, the life, the, the, the way these capacitors are, are storing that liquid, which is highly corrosive, uh, they just tend to leak. And, and there, there's, there's a pad there. Um, but it'll turn a pad like that into that. Okay. Horrible. Okay horrible so yeah oh and there's green on these chips Ooh. oh my gosh this this is a uh, i'm gonna run out of alcohol with this oh there's more oh <laughs> what happened to you <laughs> who did this to you <laughs> Goodness, I think I had to clean this before even working on it. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, seriously. There's so much going on here that I, I think I need to clean it before I do anything. Uh, I use 90%, 91% uh, alcohol here. Um, the more alcohol, the less water is ideal for electronics. Uh, I could, yeah, you, know, you could use 99%, I guess, also. Uh, this, this pad looks like it's not even touching the trace, or it is, but, yeah. Now, to be clear, this isn't the Macintosh Librarian's, uh, board. This is somebody else's board. This is, uh, a board from, uh, a friend of mine, Jordan, who sent this to me. But, uh, I guess, I guess it's also, a, it could be called a Mackie. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just, there's this black, oh, look at all this trace rot. Ugh. Look look at this chip. I mean, I don't think it was left outside, but this chip is it looks like somebody spilled soda all over this chip. Let me zoom out a bit here to show you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh. I mean, yes, yeah, so far, I and mean, that that chip 
does not look happy. We're going to have to take that off the board and, and, and give that a good cleaning on its own. <laughs> yeah, heavy handed with the toothbrush. All right, let's see. Let's go uh, towards the power socket here. You know what? The I think I see one pad missing there. Let me get some more cotton swabs here. You know, I don't see anything around the battery, so I don't think it's actually the battery leaking because the battery area looks fine. It's just these caps are nasty. Yeah, I mean, maybe they were twisted off because I could see that a lot of these have still have the legs of some of the capacitors there. I mean, this is definitely a project. It uh, wasn't going to give, be given to me if it was an easy one, I'm sure. So, All right, then looks look look by the PDS slot here. What is going on with this? <laughs> no, if, if I'm going to recap it. I'm going to go all the way. There's no sense in letting this thing rot. Cause I mean, it'll boot up maybe, but maybe there's no sound. Maybe there's no scuzzy. Maybe there's no serial ports. You know, the capacitors have a reason there, so. Okay. Um, anything else horrible on this board? Taking a, a leisurely tour. I mean, most of these chips look okay. I mean... Which one is this? UE12 and UD12. Mr. Bruce, do you recall exactly are those serial controller chips? They would make sense because they are they are located very close to the serial ports. Is that what those are? I could live without a modem port. I need that printer port, or at least one of them, to do some sweet printing action, but. My goodness, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, let me get a, where's the toothbrush here? Oh, boy. Um, where did I put that toothbrush? I got new ones, so I can always grab those. I thought I just saw it, though. Um. Yeah, let me, let me go grab the, the toothbrushes that I got. Uh, I'll be back in one moment. Uh, let me just, uh, go grab those. All right, I am back. Uh, Bruce, I said UD12 is the the nasty one. We'll get a get a shot of that. Where is it? There it is. Zero port controllers. Okay. Got some toothbrushes. The cheapest money could buy. So perfect for non-teeth purposes. Right. Look at these lovely capacitors from a series of Macintosh classics. Ugh. Throw those out. We have a little cup to pour the alcohol in. All right, so let's get our toothbrush here. And let, let's 
just try and scrub the area. Uh, let me move it. Let's let's try where that where that chip is just. Ugh, yeah, let's try there first. Let's just see how clean we can get this. I'm trying to be gentle here because uh, I don't want any of those legs to fall off. Uh, you know what? I didn't do that white balance trick, Bruce. That's... That's a problem. Hold, please. Oh, wait. Maybe I did. I don't know. I probably didn't. Well, let me continue scrubbing this for a while. If the image goes a little darker, that's... It's gonna be a little darker. Looks okay to you. Okay. Maybe just the toothbrush blocking the light. Ugh. Alright, let's see if any of this is coming coming away now. Some of it. Disgusting, man. Yeah, look at that. Ugh. Keep scrubbing. All from the capacitors, baby. That's the only thing that's in this area. That's why people say, no, nah, it's fine. I don't need to recap it. It still works. Then this happens, and they go, huh, should have recapped it sooner. It's much more time intensive and therefore much more expensive once it reaches a state like this. I mean, if somebody gave me a board like this to, to fix up, I mean, it's a lot of, probably a lot of traces and, and things that have to be messed with. It'll cost much more than a simple recap. But, uh, most of this crap is coming off. I mean, obviously this will need to be, uh, cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner. Maybe, maybe take a few rides there. But there's a chicken that crossed the road joke in there somewhere. I just I just can't think of it at the moment. Ooh, all right, let's take a closer look at this. Magnification. Ah, poop. So the light on this is not really secured 100% well, and it likes to fall off. Ew. Ew. That's pretty nasty. Well, no, Jay, I mean, that's, uh, the heat of that will probably burn a lot of this crap off, so that's not bad, but I, I'm just poking around at this point. I'm just, I wanted to see how, how bad this, this was. And, oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Jay. Eep! Thank you for the super chat there. Uh, 
if I fix it, you'll let me win a match of UT. Well, that, uh, it sounds like you don't think I can fix it then. Because you don't like letting people win. A little birdie told me that. But thank you very much for the support. I greatly appreciate it. Very kind of you. It, it's hard to even see what is here. It's just so much crap on these pins here. Now, if you already have not uh, subscribed to Jay's channel, I would suggest doing so. I think you click on his username or his icon there. Jay is the House of Moth in the chat. That is his YouTube channel. I'd suggest you check it out. If you like watching people clean puck mice from the old IMAX, Jay's your guy. Nobody can clean a puck mouse like Jay. And he has other very informational and informative videos. But the puck mouse... Everyone loves the puck mouse. And if you don't, I, I don't know if we could be friends. <laughs> that that's a good release schedule. You set your expectations of the customer. That's that's good. All right. Let's see. I'm just trying to trying to see here if there's anything yuck. It's nasty. That is just exactly what this is. Just nasty. Just look at that. Let me adjust this just a little bit here. Ah, much, much better. For me, at least, I mean. Might be a little out of focus for you, but I need to see. Uh, I would replace the keyboard. <laughs> I would replace the keyboard, unless it's a super rare keyboard. I don't, I don't know if uh, that smell's going away. Yeah, there, there is some, some tin here still, so. I mean, yeah, these traces gonna need some love. We're gonna need some solder mask over time. We're gonna cut the clean the heck out of this thing. But okay, it's not. I don't think this is not uh, salvageable here. At least this part. We shall see. We shall see. No worries, Nolan. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Yeah, and some of these are not supposed to connect. But they're very close anyway. Uh, this one might actually connect. Yep, nope. There's just a lot of crud, crud there. It's hard to see. So much crud. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, I might have to take this chip off the board. <laughs> it's just so much crud. I, I would be worried that some of this trace damage is, is under that chip. So, all right, so I'm not going to spend too much more time on that chip. I'm going to have to take it off the board eventually. I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. Uh, but let's let's pay attention to uh, some of these... Oh, wrong wrong knob there. To some of these... these uh, oh, sorry, that got stuck on my elbow there. 
uh, to some of these guys here. Nasty. Nasty. Let's try and do some cleaning here. Oof. I mean, I have I have high hopes for uh, for this board, but I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. Because who knows? I mean, th th this we we got some life out of it, which amazed me. So I'm still amazed by that. Right, we're almost an hour in and haven't even soldered anything, but. Get all this crap out of here. And thankfully this is, this will be my board. So, you know, I'll, I'll do little tracer pairs here and there, but if it looks a little ugly, I, uh, it's fine by me. I can always go back and touch it up. This trace has a lot of gunk there. Zoom into that. Yeah. I mean, you could totally see that without a microscope. This this might look like oh, I could see the traces, but. Can't really see if they're if they're all intact there. Let me just get this little paper towel here. Try and pick up some of this crap. Yeah, yucky is right. And I do have a smaller scalpel, but I think it's it's in a, a different area of the basement. So I'm just using this one for now. Oh, what are you? Maybe a little piece of printed stuff that was on the board. Oh, it's just it's, it's, ugh, disgusting. Let's see if there's copper under here. Yes, there is. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So we should be able to repair uh, these, you know, put some solder mask over them. I'm very gentle here. I'm not, I'm not really pushing in. I'm being super gentle here. Just trying to get as much of this crap off as I could. I was trying to see how there. I was like, wait, where's the scalpel? Yeah, that this looks like a leg that was still on there. On that on that pad. I screwed up my adjustment here. I'll have to fix this uh, at a later time to be more precise. But Jane Bruce are yelling or screaming at the screen. Don't do that now.
I mean, we could just spend all day getting all the crud off of this. There's a ton of it. I'm just trying to, to get all the, the bad stuff loose so when it gets through the cleaner, at least a lot of this gets uh, off the board for good. And just, just look at this. It's like a swimming pool. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Yeah, it's pretty nasty here. I mean, I think this what this corner is likely like the worst of it so far. Um, I don't know if I missed any other caps. Well, it's interesting on the Macintosh uh, on the the other Macintosh SE I recapped. There was a capacitor. There was a capacitor here? I think. Hold on, wait. My mouse is in the way here. There was a capacitor by the battery. Oops. Wrong button. Sorry. Uh, there was a capacitor by the battery here. And it looks like there is there is not one here on this board. There was right by this label. Where is this label here? Uh, there. It was right by... Well, I could zoom out. Duh. Right by this label, there was a capacitor. So, there isn't one on this board. Which is interesting. Uh, let's see if there's a, a year on this. Maybe this is an earlier revision. This is a 1988 board. So yeah, maybe this is an earlier earlier revision of that. But. Jeez. Oh, this poor little guy. Poor little, poor little Mac. We're going to try our best to fix you up. Don't you worry. <laughs> Accidentally end stream. <laughs> I have to click twice to do that. So. so this is right next to the power connector there. Actually cleaned up pretty well. I mean, not that. Ugh, there's some nasty crap there. But. Yeah, so this has a socketed CPU. Um, other side of the ROMs. Okay, yeah, so maybe maybe that that uh, is just swapped around. I'll have to look at the pictures of the other. In fact, where's my phone? Oh, look now. I'm curious of where that other capacitor was. All right, let's see. Yeah, I just took a picture of that board. Ah, uh, yep, on that board, um, the capacitor is by the barcode, but on my board, it's to the left of the ROM sim. So, there you go. Hey, Christian, good morning. See, that's, that's why I do some of these weird hour streams, so... People who normally may not be able to check mine out could say hello. And also, sometimes I have trouble sleeping. Nothing like scrubbing a board will put you right to sleep. But hello, Christian. Thank you for joining. And uh, yeah, today we're looking at a Macintosh SE30 that was sent to me with the challenge of fixing it. And uh, if I could fix it, I get an SE30 in my collection. So uh, that's a challenge I am happy to accept. Don't take such stream. Yeah. Yeah, that pad looks like it's gone, maybe? I don't see any metal there. Mm, maybe. God, I love the zoom on this thing. Holy moly. Yeah, I can see there's a pad there. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to see with my naked eye. But it's still there. 
Bruce is like, I spotted that all the way from Australia. They have a look about them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think a lot of this crud is just old solder and gunk from the those old uh, capacitors. Because you could see the imprint of the leg from the old caps there. And just all this gunk around it. Highly corrosive stuff. Yeah, these, these traces... Ugh. There's going to be a lot of little touch-ups here. Ugh. This one is just covered. I mean, that's just going to cause more damage if it just sits there like that, so. All right, let's turn the soldering iron on, because I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I have the wrong tip on? Oh, I have a big tip on there. Let's, uh, let's let that cool down for a second. I only turned it on for a second, but that thing heats up quick. And I'll, I'll, I'll change the tip on there. I, I changed it because uh, I was working on um, removing the axial capacitors. I needed more heat. this situation I think it's overkill <laughs> it's only 1 30 a.m. I only have work in the morning four a.m. five they're, they're just numbers these are all just numbers <laughs> Caked! Yes, these pads definitely have uh, a lot of a lot of cake to them. Well, let's fix this. This is a little bent there. You can see the pores of my fingerprints there. That's a little better. We got still ten people watching. Pretty consistent. Hello, everybody. Hope you're enjoying me uh, crying over uh, the condition of this poor little guy. I mean, it, obviously, it could be much worse. Could be much worse. That doesn't mean I don't have my work cut out for me. Because just look at this area. Just look at. Just, just look at, look at this. Just, ugh. Horrible. That's a very good question, te Crazy Tech Reviews. I have no answer. No answer. <laughs> Little Oreos. <laughs> These these are gone, aren't they? These are just <laughs> these are like fossils of where traces were at one point in time. At least I could see where they go. Let's 
let's let's clean that up a little bit. Or at least try to. Looking a little better. Let's let's uh, use our friend the toothbrush because uh, this is gonna need a lot of uh, convincing. Let me zoom out just a little bit. My goodness, that is terrible. <laughs> Look at that, just oh. It's it's definitely uh process here on the tip of my scalpel we can't have that <clears throat> excuse me all right let's let's uh get a little closer here so i can see what's going on all right so my goodness there's still a trace under all this crap going to have more solder mask on it than the I don't know something <laughs> I can't think of anything witty at this hour My goodness, this poor little guy. You are right, Crazy Tech Reviews. This poor little guy. You, you should probably look up some things before you order them <laughs> it's just just what I usually do does it look like this or does it look like this All right, you got the first one if it's a 150 it's not bad it's still a 640 by 480 camera with no LCD screen and a serial port that relies on you to use internal memory and uh, system 7.6 at the latest to take the images off. But it's a camera. Did you get the macro lens with it? Or is it just the camera? And yes, I just happen to have those by my desk. <laughs> that's 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 my life to a T. Why do you have a camera like that that's so old right next to your desk? Why not? 
Why not? Probably a very good reason not to, but what the fun be in that? I, they had a remote control. I'm looking on my I don't see an infrared sensor, but I could be mistaken. By golly, they have they have a sensor there. I don't know if it's an infrared sensor, but I forgot they had a remote. If they did, all right, all right. Yeah, it's just it's hard to let me move the board a different way here. Oh boy. <laughs> I have a hoarding problem. What? No, I didn't admit to that. No. It must have been somebody else. Somebody else on a live stream. God, just look how much crud there is there. I mean, I, I like I said, I picked up a lot of this stuff 15, 20 years ago when nobody wanted any of it. Dirt cheap. And here I was the kid who was looking at these things in the magazine when they were fairly new and going, oh, I want that. I wish I could afford that one day. I mean, when somebody offers you a Quadra 840AV for $5, you don't say no. You don't say no. I think th I think this one's gonna be the worst here. Is there still a trace there? My goodness, it's still there. At least some of it is. <laughs> Don't look at this. <laughs> it's a little gruesome. Oh boy. Well, I think for a maximum, I'm going to go for another... 45 minutes then I'm gonna have to set a time limit because I, I have to wake up fairly early tomorrow and uh, an hour or so of sleep I can make up but can't stay up super late maybe tomorrow well, I mean obviously I'm not getting this done right now we will continue with our adventures you know I forgot to take a picture of this when I started let me uh just grab my phone and take a photo. Should have done that before, but. Let me use this light here. Maybe one day this will be my job, and then I can just stay up to crazy hours doing this. That's probably not healthy, actually, now that you think about it. <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough pictures to document. Yeah, no worries. If you gotta go, you gotta go. I'm just gonna be cleaning this. 
we're just going to be doing some cleaning. Now, I, I am going to take the memory off the board because I keep stabbing myself in the wrist. And that ain't good. Uh, let's see if I can take these off without cracking any of the plastic. Oh, this is actually, these, these are slightly different than the ones I messed with before. It's uh, quite easy to, to do. They're white. They're not black. The uh, ram holders. So I don't know if that makes a difference of like the revision or whatever, but Bruce would know more than I would. He's seen more of these boards than I have. And I will put tape around these so I do not misplace them. Right. <laughs> you decided not to go to bed. Well, good on you. All right. Let's get back to that crusty area we're looking at. Because I think that's the worst. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The legs of this chip. That's all I was going to do. Replace the tip on this soldering iron. Uh, this, is always, this is probably some spammy guy that's like, oh, he deleted my spam comment. I don't like it anymore. That's probably one. And I bet he sounds exactly like that. The, uh, the normal tip that I use for the soldering iron back on so we can at least see if we can get some of that crap off of like pads like this which I think we're going to need the heat for I mean this could be worse <laughs> I'm trying to be uh, positive here um, I think all the pads are actually there I mean we have things like this where this pad and this little veer here. This needs to be all cleaned because look at look at all this gunk under there. That's not helping. I mean, I'm sure it's still making a connection, but it's not going to last. Hope you guys are all doing well this very early morning. I'm going to go on for about 30, 40 more minutes here and then I'm going to call it a night. But have you ever seen a board so dirty? I mean, I, I have, just not, not uh, on my own streams. Bruce has had some doozies. Jay has showed me some disgusting boards as well. But this, this one is uh, pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. I mean, it looks like those traces are all still making a connection. But, alright, let's uh, see something here. Let's go back to, uh, where's the one where you could see the, the uh, there we go. Let's go back to this one. I'm going to bring us up here so I can get a little more space under there. Oh. This light. I think I have to contact this company. You spend so much on this thing and then the light is falling off all the time. Uh, 
All right. So I'm going to actually clip this uh, capacitor off. We don't need that on there right now. And I do have replacements. It's just going to get in the way. Right, so we're going to uh, get our soldering iron here, and we're going to use some of our flux here. And some fresh solder, and just try and loosen up some of this crap here. Well, that stinks. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's capacitor crap, all right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, my. I mean, the personal laser writer, you have to basically use a serial cable or a... I think you use a serial cable. I don't think that's an Apple Talk one because it's a personal one. It's not meant to be networked. I mean, I mean was it used a lot? Is that's a, I have no idea. I don't know how popular they were. They were the low-end, cheaper option, so potentially... That's a little better. I'm use some more flux there. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know if I played around with it on stream or I was just doing a, a Skype chat with a few of the Mac Yak guys. But I believe I have a similar one. And uh, it it does not use Apple Talk. It uses a serial connection. I think there's even a SCSI connection on there if I if I recall correctly. Go over this with my uh, solder wick in a minute, but just hoping that that would help get all that crap out of there. go no, that might be not be enough that one cleaned up I might not be at a good angle here that's uh, certainly not helping me here but
My goodness. Uh, what should I be doing, guys? Bruce, Jay? More flux and solder, or uh, should I continue with the wick? I'm not, uh, not so convinced that what I'm doing is exactly uh, what is needed here. But what do I know? It looks like I'm getting a good amount of it off, but... It's still stuck on there. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, that's that's why I'm just scrubbing lightly, not to try and let it catch, but... Um... This crap is just not coming off. <laughs> That's a good place to be buried in. Uh, so there's there's so much of this crap on these pads here. It looks like what's left of the legs of those capacitors or maybe just the gook, gook from them. Um, I'm using some alcohol there and then I put flux on them and I was trying to use some fresh solder to get that stuff off of there. And I used some solder wick too, but curious if I should continue in a particular direction or if I should just continue flailing around here. So we're going to mess around with this for about another half hour and then I'm going to call it quits for the night. I'm getting kind of tired if you can't tell my voice. <laughs> A scrapey scrape. You don't say. My goodness. It's disgusting, isn't it? Well, at least the solder was sticking to the copper. <laughs> Yes, sir. I believe you. Old refrigerators. I don't know where I would put old refrigerators. No. That, that's a big no. Most of the things I like to collect are fairly compact. And can be easily carried. Oop. I cut a little bit too far into that. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, got a little, little too deep there. That's okay. Nobody saw that. I mean, if I collected other things, I'd have no room for anything. Hmm. 
Not that I have room anyway, but. Yes, sir. No gouging. Just hard to rest my wrist because it's over the memory slots here. So let me turn this around. There we go. That's much more comfortable. Find out where we were. Duh. That's one of them. Where's the other one? Where the heck was I? Which one? <laughs> oh, I'll be able to recognize my handiwork. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, just look at all that. That's disgusting. I mean, is this old? It looks like old solder, maybe. I don't know. Yuck. All I keep saying, yuck. Uh, where am I going here? Where's, uh, where did my Q-tips go? Did I use them all? Or did I drop the box? Probably drop the box. Where did they go? I had a few more. There it is. There they are. Okay. Ew. Nasty, nasty, nasty. This does not want to come off. This is definitely helping, I guess.
very careful the angle I do this. I don't want to don't want to take off stuff I'm not trying to take off here. Okay, I'm going to see if uh, we get some of that stuff off now. With a little persuasion from the iron. Just cleaning that off a bit. Let's see here. Where is where did I put that? There it is. I think some of that is solder, but I, I could be mistaken here. I got a little bit off. My hand-eye coordination is not helping today. I don't think that's really doing much. Oh boy. I mean, it's looking a little bit better. There's still a bunch of crud on it. Especially this one. Let's work on that one a little bit. Again, we're not going to finish this all today. It's uh, about 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to call it quits here for the night. But let's just see if we can make a little more progress here. Let's see what else we got here. Oof.
not making too much progress there, but let's see if there's uh, anything else we could focus some of our attention on. I'm sure there is. Yeah, let's try and clean these up a bit. Let's see if we can get some of that crap off there. It's not gonna make it clean, but just amuse myself here. Yeah, there's, there's not enough flux in the world for this. <laughs> Some of them are cleaning up better than others. All right. Yes, sir. More solder. My finger is burning. Ow. No, oh, you can't see. Sorry. <laughs> the solder is uh, not in the place I want it to be, I guess. Let's try that again.
This stuff is stubborn. Rest my fingers for a second. They're getting, they're getting hot. Jeez. I mean, most of those are, uh, there's something uh, grabbable on there now. But, uh. Okay. <laughs> Bigger the better. Got it. I see some improvement, it's just, uh, give that a rest for a second. My fingers are all sticky. There we go. Come on. These two on the left seem to be the most problematic. These are showing signs of improvement. Let's try cleaning a little bit. There we go. Let's clean all this crap off the board here. Ugh.
I am getting a little sleepy. I don't know if I'm going to make it for a few more minutes, but I'll, oh, we're almost at the two hour mark. Yeah, just in time. So I'm just going to try and clean this part up just a little bit more. Then I'll probably call it for the end of this first part. And uh, we'll try again tomorrow or over the weekend or so. All right, that's a good idea, Bruce. But uh, we, we did get some, I'm just uh, cleaning out what I could get with the Q-tip here. We did, did, did get a good amount of crap out of there, which is nice. So thank you guys for the suggestions. How did we get solder down there? How, how did how did a solder bead get down there? <laughs> hey, get out of there! <laughs> you don't belong there. Get out of there. Yeah, these these look much better than they did before. Just see if any of this is loosened up here. And look at this, look at this like a, a slug. Oh, don't worry, Jay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Yuck. All right, let's uh, try our wick friend here. Maybe part of the pad's missing. I don't know. I'm trying to trying to get a good visual on this thing. No, nope, that's crap. That's just a, a mound of crap. That's what that is. That's what that is. Yeah, there we go. Got some of that crap off there. Yeah. Nice and clean. zoom out so you guys can see we'll get that even cleaner I mean, it, it's going to take a while for this board. It's not going to not going to be easy, but it's going to look a heck of a lot better than it did before. I can tell you that. All right, let's get some of our wick here. We'll clean this up, and then we'll uh, we'll pause for the rest of the night right. my 
Hands are getting in the way. His iron grip is just, it's very hot right now. And it's just like burning through my hand. Ow. Look at those nice pads. It, it's not, it was, it was closer to the maximum. I, I did turn it down a little bit because that was a bit silly of me, but uh, I was trying to heat up uh, all that crud. So I turned it down a little bit now. But yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, I I wasn't uh I wasn't uh pushing hard or anything. I don't want to break the tip off. <laughs> Please don't. Please no. <laughs> and that's why I always ask questions because someone has experience that I don't have. That's invaluable information. But look at look at these. They're, I mean, look, there's a lot of crap here we still got to clean up. But those pads are pretty pretty nice looking right now. Compared to how they looked before. Why, wow, thank you. What the heck is that? Is that a little... Little crusty uh, thing here. I'll have to get that later, but... I must say, those pads don't look half bad. Not bad at all, especially considering what they look like before. They look similar to uh, to these ones over here. So we could definitely do it. We'll definitely continue working on this uh, another night because it's uh, it's very late here, but very cool, very very cool. So I, I think that uh, we do have uh, a good chance of, of getting this done. I hope. I would hope so. Um, because at this point, I'm excited to get this to work. <laughs> I want to get it to work. But uh, we, will, we will need a lot more work on this thing. That's for sure. But, so again, just... Uh, before we uh, end the stream here, those are the nice solder pads that, that cleaned up pretty well. And uh, here's what we have ahead of us to, <laughs> to taunt us in our sleep. So, very, very cool. Very, very cool. So, I'm very excited uh, to continue working on this. Trying to get some of these little solder balls off of this board. Uh, we'll we'll continue working on this uh, another day. There's plenty more to do here. Um, we have at least let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more pads to do a, a thorough cleaning on. I don't know if I, I mean th there are some areas that the traces concern me, like in this area here. I don't want, I wonder if those will clean up. 
We'll see. Because nothing to lose. We got some life out of it. I'd be thrilled if we could get this working. I'd be thrilled if we get this working. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you everybody for hanging around and watching. This has been our first attempt with our Macintosh SE board here. And uh, I will uh, wish you all a good night or good morning, good evening, wherever you are. And good afternoon. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next stream. Uh, make sure you click subscribe so you know you know, when I go live. Uh, and make sure you hit that little bell icon too. That'll make sure that whenever I do go live, you get a notification. Now, YouTube's notifications are a little eh. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. So I do have a Twitter. That is Mac84TV. That is the handle. Mac84TV. Uh, I do post links when I go live on Twitter as well. So if you don't get the YouTube notification, you might get the Twitter one. No guarantees, but yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for sticking with me. Hope this was at least uh, enjoyable to see some of this crud come off the board. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you again in part two. So <laughs> see you guys later. Uh, thanks for hanging around. And uh, goodbye.